Hey there, my name is Jim and I just wanted to personally thank you first of all for picking up Mobile Ads Bar. This plugin is uh, very straightforward but I wanted to put together this short video just to kind of talk through each of the points and uh, make sure that you know how to use it so you can uh, hit the ground running. So once you have installed the plugin and activated it then you're going to basically, um, let me just show you here over in the menu, uh, you'll see a new item here called Mobile Ads Bar. Okay, And basically, uh, once you click on that, that's going to open up the settings screen here. And basically from here, we just control how the ad bar displays. So we can just turn on and off the bar Okay, so you don't have to basically delete your message to turn it off or anything like that. Um, so enable the ad bar, um, show it on mobile only. For now, that's, uh, you know, just make sure that's checked. We don't have another option. Um, and then you can uh, optionally display a close button. So if you're doing an advertisement, um, you know, it's good to have the close button there. If you're just putting your own message for your website, um, which I'm going to show you here in a second, um, you know, you could kind of think of that as optional. Um, it's it's definitely something though that you know your users may want to uh, close the the bar. So from there, we'll just kind of move along down the the line here. The bar position, so you can basically choose to display the ad bar at the top or the bottom of the mobile screen. This only works on mobile devices, so. Uh, basically, you know, you won't be able to sort of see this on a um, on a desktop computer, for example, or anything like that. So um, just kind of know that. Um, but uh, you know, bottom is kind of the preferred place in terms of ads. So um, and then from here, you can basically do a color background. So depending on the color of your website on mobile, um, you may want to kind of make a background that stands out a little bit. Um, or, you know, you can always leave it transparent. Or um, I will also say that you can just kind of leave this blank if what you're doing is pa pasting um, advertisement code in here, like a banner ad um, in here, because that'll basically fill up the bar space. Um, so you won't have to worry about the background color. So, um, you know, that's that. Um, now, I just want to show you here. So if we go back and, you know, let's just give this a nice background color of gray, for example. Um, you've got two options. You can paste ad code in here, like, a, a uh, you know, from someplace that does uh, mobile-friendly advertising, for example. Um, you could do a banner ad from ClickBank, for example and display a, a horizontal banner ad um, in here, or you can write your own message. Okay, so, you know, you could also, if you just have like a offline business and you wanted to uh, basically, you know, just encourage people to uh, go to your, you know, set up a, an appointment page, um, you could just say something like, you know, schedule a time with us okay and then just you know you've got your basic posting um, menu editor for WordPress here so you can basically just turn that into a link if you'd like and um, have that be a clickable link on the banner bar um, on the, the mobile ad bar or like I said you can paste some uh, code in there for uh, display ad for example and so let's take a look at that let me uh, just go and grab some uh, uh, something to paste in here really quick okay so I have uh, a banner code to paste in here from a uh, product on Clickbank uh, that we'll use as an example and so this is the other thing I want to show you is that you can use the visual editor if you're kind of writing in your own message here otherwise you want to switch to the text editor um, so that you can basically um, paste, you know, some code in here. And so let's do that. So I just grabbed a banner ad from uh, this three-week diet product on ClickBank. 
and um, so I can paste that in there and then basically I will have a uh, display ad that will show up um, at the bottom of my pages on mobile uh, when people look at my website on mobile so uh, this is just a great way to sort of capitalize on the fact that yes you can use ads on mobile devices um, mobile has in my opinion been hard to monetize um, you know I can find cheap clicks and and get a lot of mobile traffic to my websites but um, in terms of getting people to actually kind of use the ads that that are part of um, you know the different display networks and stuff um, you know I haven't I haven't found a lot of traction there and that's why I thought this plugin would be helpful is so that I could have complete control over um, you know number one where I place my ad whether it's the top or the bottom of the screen um, I could have control over what ad displays there so it's not just um, you know random uh, something from uh, you know Google AdSense or uh, you know that kind of thing and um, you know this just gives me total flexibility over that and then I also you know having an offline business I thought it'd be nice you know since I never would display ads to you know the kind of small businesses that uh, you know I serve from my offline business um, you know I thought it'd be nice to just have something I could use where I could put my own message down there like schedule an appointment or get a free um, you know website review or that kind of thing so you know it's just fully customizable um, it's a it's a very simple plug-in simple to use and um, you know that's that that's how you use it of course once you've done everything just click to save changes and then um, you know the last thing I'd point out here is that this is not a tool you want to use with Google AdSense um, because in Google's uh, terms of service you in their AdSense terms you basically are not allowed to uh, display AdSense ads in a sticky type uh, banner like this plugin creates so um, you know I would not use AdSense with this at all um, just to avoid getting banned from your Google AdSense so um, you know just a quick note on that uh, so there you go hope you enjoyed the plugin and you know of course uh, just let us know if you have any issues or uh, just want to uh, chat more about the plugin. Thanks a lot for watching.